Hello there, subscribers. I have a special little treat for you from this 1989, November 1989, edition of Car and Driver. Uh, my friend Jakeman21642 and I were sitting here going through a couple magazines, and we noticed a uh, rather hilarious <laughs> ad of the Dodge Shadow ES. All right. So let me, let, me, let me just read this for you. There's no denying that the Dodge Shadow is one of the best kept performance secrets on the contemporary motoring scene. <laughs> Practical to the extreme, this compact hatchback's cup runneth over with virtue. Front wheel drive, <laughs> excellent fuel economy, a lengthy warranty, and trim exterior dimensions that don't even come close to crowding the lawnmower out of the garage. Why, the shadow seems prim and proper enough to charm your maiden aunt. <laughs> Who would imagine that the ES version of this low-profile Dodge comes with high-capacity, high-capacity four-wheel disc brakes as standard equipment. That 60 series performance tires mounted on 15-inch aluminum we alloy wheels are also part of the special package. That the optional 2.2 liter intercooled VNT, whatever that means, engine is equipped with a state of the art turbocharger, an intercooler, and twin balance shafts. That the, most, that the output of the Shadow's most potent engine is a scandalous 174 horsepower at 5200 RPM. Heaven have mercy. <laughs> Word on the Shadow ES is starting to spread from certain well informed circles. Car and Driver magazine called it a genuine street brawler. This is Car and Driver! What? We wouldn't go so far as to encourage any rough stuff with the competition, but Dodge engineers have taken the precaution of giving the Shadow ES a few muscle building exercises for 1990. Honestly, I mean, really? 